Hello everyone, welcome to Thursday morning card making session. My name is Elisa Torsner, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia and I go live every Thursday morning for some card making. On Mondays I do a product spotlight um, of the products that I'm going to use. I sort of choose a bundle or a, or a suite to cover for the whole week. So Mondays I do a product spotlight on what we're going to be creating with and then Thursday I come in live. But over on my Facebook page you can see um, different samples and uh, short videos and that type of thing of what we are crafting with. So last week we played with the Meandering Meadow uh, stamp set suite and I sort of feel that I haven't given it enough attention. Sometimes, sometimes you either really, really like playing with it or sometimes I feel like I haven't played with it enough. So, and that was one of their suites. So we're looking at that one again um, and we're going to make a easy card it's going to be easy but there's going to be a little bit of a like I'm, I'm hoping a little bit of a wow factor so welcome welcome to everyone i can see everyone is finding me now i um, am streaming to two places i go live on facebook and youtube at the same time so jump in and say hello when you are coming in so i know that you are here okay i'm going to swing my uh screen around my switch to my other camera so we can jump straight into it. So again, we are playing with that. You know what? I should have bought the card that we made last week in here. It's sitting on my computer table uh, so that I could have shown you that. I've actually made, I have actually made quite a few things with this one. Um, but we're just going to do a fairly simple card today. So I am thinking I'm going to use these little birds here. So the Garden Meadow is actually on the online exclusives. Um, the whole meandering meadow. Good morning, Wendy. Good morning, Robin and Barb. So where is my little, here is my little um, partridges. Now I'm just also going to point out that the images that are on the front cover of the stamp set are actually at 90%. So when you open them up, uh, they are actually a wee bit bigger than what they showed on the front. I need a block. There we go. So I'm just going to keep this one fairly simple. We're going to do a really quick bit of colouring. And the bonus if you are watching on YouTube is that, and you're on a mobile device, is that you can pinch your screen and zoom in on what I am doing. Uh, so that is a huge bonus of YouTube. That, uh, and you can do that with your, the replay as well. You can zoom in on replays as well. So I find that really, really handy, um, especially when we've got things like colouring on, colouring in. Good evening to Wendy. Hello, hello. Oh, it's thanks. Now, is it? It's not Thanksgiving yet, though, is it? I know you have your Thanksgiving weekend. It's on the twenty. I don't know what date it is on. I apologise for that. I was thinking it was the 27th, but it's not because that's Monday. Or do you? Or is it on Monday? I thought it was a Friday. Anyway, I know that you guys get, I've seen it everywhere. It's a short week, but it ends in shopping and, um, and eating pie. So there you go. <laughs> Hello, Deb. Okay. Uh, it's the third, so it's your tomorrow morning. I think that's right, isn't it? Okay, so I am going, so we're just going to colour in this little guy. Zoom in if you are on YouTube. I don't know if I've got anyone from Facebook watching at the moment because uh, no one has jumped in. Okay, I am going to start with, oh, if I can get my lid off, they are tight with the dark. Oh, here we go. This is just in time for your Thanksgiving. I'm using, and I'm going to say it in my language, pecan pie. <laughs> So, and I'm just going to lay some colour down. And this is super, super, super quick. Super quick colouring, nothing fancy. And pecan pie light to blend them in. Super, super easy. And because this is the type, the paper is, you know, the type of paper that we don't actually want to put too much over because we want it to, we want the paper to do the talking, right? So I'm just going to put some, this is balmy blue. So I'm just going to pop some balmy blue on the belly. I don't know what colour they are in real life, but I am matching it to this paper. So I don't care. 
So where the little belly and the body come in, I'm just going to take that balmy blue up into the pecan pie for a second. You know what? I don't think you even have to do light and dark. I reckon if you just picked a colour and put it on. Okay. Oh, Wendy said she received her fluffiest friends today. So she's going to do my colouring tutorial. I, yay. I hope you have fun with it. So she is doing, uh, I did a fur technique. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of grass on there and I'm going to use garden, oops, that's not garden green. I'm reaching behind me without looking, garden green. And I probably don't even need to do a light and dark for this one either. We just want to chuck some colour down just so it's not so stark. So super, super quick. I don't know where the die will cut out. I don't know how far the die goes down, but I'm just going to extend that out anyway, just for a little bit of colouring. Now, you cannot see what I am doing because I am looking at my screen and that image is so small. So I'm going to bring it up to the screen so you can see what I've done. So really quick colouring, speedy colouring. I love it. I do love my speedy colouring. I like my, should I show you what I've done? I've, I've been doing um, a, I'm not going to call it a class because, you know, I did, I showed you my, my pumpkin that I did last. I think some of you may have seen it. I did my pumpkin that was last month. So it's a colouring challenge group. So we don't get step-by-step -step instructions. We just get a rough idea and a couple of photos and a finished product and um, a little bit of a breakdown. Anyway, so this month was using pencils and I have never used pencils before and we had to do tarnished silver. So I have finished it's a partridge, partridge in a pear tree. Uh, so that is what I've done with um pencils mainly pencils there's there's alcohol markers underneath and then pencils over the top so i am on coloring journeys just like you and this has taken me i've done one and a bit utensils maybe two utensils per night so that was a labor intensive this is fun this is quick <laughs> very quick and easy but uh i can't say that i really Parts of that I enjoyed, other parts I didn't enjoy until it all sort of come together at the end and then I was like, oh, well, that's not so bad after all. Okay, I've got him. Let's get our birthday. I'm going to do a happy birthday and I'm going to white emboss. Now, I've got a selection of papers left out of my pack and they have all got little uh, whispers of balmy blue in there. So that's why I chose the balmy blue and also so that it matches with my partridges. Um, so that is why I have picked him. Let's white emboss this. Oh, I need to get my stuff out. There we go. So Wendy says, what does Wendy say? She's taught her flicking. Yes. Uh, she got it related to my kid's head. <laughs> flick, flick, flick. Yeah. I think we've all done that, didn't we? Flick, there he is. Okay, so let's do this. Now, as I'm going, I'm not going to be giving measurements. Uh, you, you can join up in my newsletter group. Let me get that address for you. So when we are done here, if you head on over to alisatilsner.com, you will see a subscribe button. I'm just going to keep embossing here in the background while I try. So you will find an, uh, a subscribe button on there. And if you subscribe to that, you will receive the card that we are making today as a written tutorial with everything I've used so you know exactly what's going on, all the sizes in inches and centimetres. And uh, I do my cards in a, a weird size. Well, I don't think they're weird. I think it's common sense so that it matches all of our envelopes because our envelopes are different sizes today but today's card you won't have any issues with it fitting into envelopes at all because of what I'm going to do with it okay so I will get that off now I also want to whoops I'm going all over the place while I'm embossing this in the background 
I have my, uh, I have a Creative Card Makers Club, which is a monthly subscription tutorial thing, where you each month we get uh, six cards in PDF format as well as video format, and that is delivered to your inbox once a month. This month we are doing well for December. We are doing the Meandering Meadows. So here's a little sneak peek of some of the cards, uh, all the cards. Um, that you will be getting in December and which I'm actually pretty happy with they turned out quite pretty so you've still got time to join up for that it's available to anyone in the world because it's digital and video format so you can do that um, I'm gonna let you know a few other things so when you when you're subscribing to the newsletter you can now pick whether you're interested in a few other things that I hold every four months so I also am getting back into my stamp by mail so this one is a three monthly card club and you get product and you get card kits each month and then after the three months, it will end and uh, we'll move on to a new suite and bundle. So this one is coming up for the new stuff and it will be in, uh, it will be released in December. You get to join up and then it will start in January. So we're using the Nature's Sweetness uh, suite for this, which is gorgeous. It is beautiful. I, um, I'll have to do a proper video later on. Now, if you are an Australian demonstrator, uh, my friend Pam and I host a an online demonstrator retreat and we are featuring the Hooray for Surprises bundle for this one. Um, so again, if you are wanting to have more information about that, make sure you're on my newsletter list, tick that you're interested in Creative Carnival and uh, you will get information Registration opens for this in December as well. So there's a lot going on. And I also have a paper party share, which is like a, a paper share, but it's a big event as well. So that is also opening for registration in December. So, but like I said, if you join up to my newsletter, you can tick what you're interested in and then um, we will get information for you for that. And, um, and if you are already on my newsletter list, then I sent an email out yesterday and all you have to do is click the links to find out, like to get on the, in, register your interest for those things. So Deborah says, how is Pip doing? She is doing well. Um, Pip had back surgery. For those who don't know, uh, I go live with Pip once a month, but this month we didn't. She was like, yeah, 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 I'll be fine. And I'm like, uh, I don't think so. I think you should rest. Um, she has been some, making some cards, but she's up for small, small bits at a time. I think she's healing healing nicely and uh, her husband's been keeping um, her under tight wraps I think and not letting her do too much because I can sense that she wants to <laughs> but she is healing well so okay so I'm just going to push this out the way for a second while I explain what I am actually going to do so I am thinking about making a shape card today so I'm going to use the arch and I was thinking, what am I going to make? What am I going to make <clears throat> like I normally do? So I've cut a, a bit of <clears throat> my card base and I'm going to do it on white just so that it alleviates uh, having to have an insert. So that's why you want to be on my newsletter list so that you can get all the measurements for these weird things that I do. Okay, so I'm going to pop my card in. And then we are going to die cut this, but we are going to have it so the spine is up here. So it's just like when we do a circle card or a different shape card. So I've got my spine up the top here and I'm going to hang it just over the edge and then make sure it's, try and make sure it's nice and straight and even. And then we will run that through the machine. And, oh, 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 oh. oh, there's that last little bit. Oh, cracky. That last little bit is always probably because I've got two sheets. We've got a folded card. So, and then that is going to give us, yes, it did go all the way through. Thank you very much. So this is sort of like a little gift taggy type thing that you could um, pop with a gift. And, of course, now they're sandwiched together because they've been pressed. Oh, my goodness. Open. 
There we go. Gotcha. Thank you very much. So, and of course, because it's got the little die thingies, uh, the little um, detail, that's also been imprinted on the inside as well. So that's a really cool little feature. I didn't uh, didn't expect that. So that's a bonus, right? Okay, so it's just going to be a little note cardy type thing. So I've got some paper. These are the only sheets of paper that I have got left. And what I will probably do is just pop this on here and go, mm, I think I like that bit or that bit. And then, um, you know, I'd probably go for something like that. But there is one sheet that I think I want to use. I mean, you could use any of these. They're just stunning. But I think I would like to use that one there with the garden path um, meandering up through there. You can have that one. So, you know, it's really, really hard to choose, right? So, and I know that there will be a bit of leftover of this card, but um, of this paper, but sometimes, sometimes we just can't help it. Now, I want to bring it down so you could have more sky in there and have less of the path, but I think I want to do a little bit more of the path because I'm going to put my birds down here and see how it's got little flecks of um, the balmy blue, which is why I picked up the balmy blue from that one. So, and the other thing is, is that because I'm only wanting this part here, I could actually still use that part there, the reverse bit in a card. So if I try and die cut that straight, then I can reuse the leftover bit. Okay, so let's get that down nicely. And we'll cut that out. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> Some days I sort of think, oh, I think it's more of a workout than a crafting session. So there we have our little panel, which I'm going to stick right over the top of. So if you were, I don't know, what sort of gift you'd like to give with your meandering meadows maybe you've got some maybe you've got a um some flowers you know sort of always feels like flower florals and flowers but if you had like a, a plant or a packet of flower seeds or something like that to give with them i think that would be really pretty as well look i've done really well um okay so we'll pop that actually uh, while i've got the big one out i might as well just die cut these guys um I think that's the die that goes with them. Okay. Okay, so most of my most of my green grass is gonna be um, eaten away, but that's okay. i will just I'd rather extend it and then have to go back. Hey Lois, hey Mimi, and around. Oh, and Leanne. Oh, we've got some people catching jumping in on Facebook. I think YouTube has become a little bit more popular, which is good for me, I'm gonna say. Because I do get a little bit of um, I do get a little bit of payment from um, YouTube, not a whole lot, but it is starting to grow a little bit, which is good because then I can keep coming in and look at that. Here's, how cute is that? Then I can keep coming in and doing uh, little free lives, and I've and I've actually been putting in putting up some coloring in classes, so. If you're looking for beginner colouring in classes, I've been popping them up on YouTube as well. Um, so we've got lots of stuff going on. Okay. So this is going to be a really, really simple card. But it's got that wow factor because it's a shape card. So I'm going to put my happy birthday and then I'm just going to pop these on there. And that is pretty much going to be it with a couple of those little bird embellishments. So really, really simple. You know what? I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm going to do what I did last week. Don't mind me. I'm just grabbing, I'm just grabbing stuff out of my cupboard. <laughs> I'm going to get some more of these because I quite enjoy that. To add a little fluff. Isn't that beautiful as well? Just gorgeous. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? Oops. All right, I'm running out of, I'm running out of seal. I've got a new one right beside me, but I know that any moment I can see that red line coming. Okay, and you you may prefer to uh, be using um, your liquid glue for this. 
because you can get that little bit of a slide factor. I ought never, I never put it all the way down until I know that it's straight. So I always start in one end and then keep my finger behind it and then just slowly release it as it goes. So if you if you do prefer the, the tape, um, that's how I do it. And then when I know that it's all good, then I actually press it down. So we've got a little bit of an overhang at the back and that is totally fine. It doesn't interfere with the opening of the card at all. And then we've just got our cute little, cute little card there. All right, let's get some of this happening. I'm going to do loop de loops because I love them. I love the loop de loops. So let's, and we don't need a huge amount of loop de loop because it is only a small card. So we'll keep it fairly tight. Keep it fairly tight and let it do what it wants. Who cares, right? Oops. And we need a loop down the bottom there. I'm trying to let it do its own thing, but it's, it is actually being stubborn. We wanted, it wants to go all loopy loops at the top. All right, I might have to try and force it. There we go. Come on. Don't be a pain. This is where you go. Sometimes it's easier to not fight with it, but I'm fighting, I'm fighting with it. And it's, it's fighting me back. So I'm just going to not fight with it anymore. I'm gonna, just going to cut it. <laughs> there we go. We've got little loop-de-loops. And because I'm getting, because my, um, my roll is getting smaller and smaller, it's getting tighter and tighter as we get closer to the, um, you know, to that core. Uh, Good. Wendy says she doesn't do Facebook. Good. Keep doing videos. I don't think I would ever give up doing videos on YouTube at the moment. I have considered stopping them on uh, Facebook. Uh, and the reason why I would say that is because I really, really like the fact that you can zoom in on, um, on YouTube. So that is a real added benefit. All right. But I don't think, because I've got this program, I can do both. It doesn't really, you know, it's all good. All right, did I take the tape off of that? Right, yeah. Okay, so let's pop this one down. Just adds a little bit more extra. We'll pop it right close to the left-hand side because we want our little partridges to come as well. So... I know, we, I sort of feel like, you know, here in Australia, we've, we've been doing Christmas for so long because, you know, we're not real big on um, um, Halloween. You guys have that. We're not real, you know, we don't do, um, oh, get off. We don't do, we don't do Thanksgiving. Um, so I sort of feel like we've been doing Christmas for so long. So this has been a nice break away from Christmas, although I do have to uh, count up all my Christmas cards because then, I, you know, I sometimes think that writing in our Christmas cards takes way longer than actually creating them. So I have to get all of them sorted out. But I will do that in December, I think. Come the 1st of December will be my Christmas card sorting out. So although I did get my first Christmas card yesterday, I have to say my son's girlfriend, she lives in Adelaide, they met in their online uni class and... Um, she uh, she went for a, a she had a bit of a fall a pretty bad one and and broke her ankle in real in a really really bad way apparently her foot was in a position that a foot should not be in she had to wait two weeks to even get to have surgery and so anyway I'm, I had an inkling that she was a little bit on the crafty side she's done graphic design and all that sort of thing and anyway so I sent her a heap of uh, our Stampin' Up kits so she sent me a Christmas card that she'd made with one of the kits and uh and some biscuits homemade biscuits how sweet <laughs> so there is our cute little card like I said it is such a simple card we're going to be finished really quick today and, but it's got that wow factor because we've got the shape in it. So just a little gift card. You know what? You could even do this with, um, you could even take this shape if you wanted to 
And if you're still making Christmas cards, you could use Christmas paper and then just put, you know, your Merry Christmas on there. And that would be a perfect little, um, especially if you've got larger boxes that you're wrapping up, that would be a cool little tag to put. Um, you could punch a hole in the top and have it as a tag for gift wrapping as well. So there we have it. Very, very simple today. Very simple today, but I quite like it. Quite like that one. So. Just a reminder as you're heading out, because we are done. Wait a minute, I'm getting I'm getting all my buttons here mixed up. If you're not signed up for my newsletter, head on over to alisatilsner.com. You'll see the subscribe button. This card will go out tomorrow morning at my time. So a little bit earlier than at, at the moment. I should schedule them a little bit later so I've got more time to you know for you guys to catch up with the with it but anyway um that'll go out i'll have all the measurements it'll have everything that i've used the colors of the blends all that sort of stuff um in case you missed any of it and so that way you can create them yourself easily and uh that would be a good thing to do and you can check out all the others so look if you didn't get my email yesterday um make sure that you check out my email from yesterday and just go and click on any of the links of the stuff that you're interested in it's not you're not signing up for anything you're not registering for anything you're just expressing interest so that i can keep i'm going to switch back to me so that i can keep you in the loop of when registration for things are going to be happening because i've got a lot happening and it's going to happen every time a new catalog is released so that's what happens good night bob have a wonderful thanksgiving um so yeah, that's it. Okay, have a wonderful uh, day. For those in the US, have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Eat some pie from me. I've never had pecan pie. I've never had pumpkin pie. Don't know if I'd like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkin. Um, what else do you guys have? Cherry pie. I don't really like cherries either. So, But you can eat all of that for me. A apple pie. I do like apple pie. So <laughs> eat apple pie for me. <laughs> Have a great weekend and we will catch you on Monday when I do my next product spotlight. See you later.